different stand for something you take a knee they might just cap a nigga action figures if y'all was trapping you make a sad percentage i want to dive into your mind tell me why you here it's getting deep are you a sheep or you a pioneer meryl streep you seeming like a demon and some pride again devil try to come for a nigga i'm moving not ahead you get cut fist up like i'm a five percenter i'ma buy my own island where they won't mind a nigga I'm hey what is good my fellow youtube fantasy boy aaron speaking and today we got the Cudster himself, Insano Kid Cudi Target exclusive vinyl, bro. Yes, sir. Now, it's been a couple days, you know, since this project dropped, and I don't like to do reviews and shit like that the day of. You know, I like to let it marinate a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Take your time with it. You know what I'm saying? Play out at least for a couple days. Um, so now that it's been a couple days, I can say that this album is good, but it's not great. Okay, um, it definitely has some songs where I feel like didn't have to be here. There isn't really like a bad song on here. There's just certain songs where I feel like, eh, kind of filler or a little uninspired or the chorus is a little awkward or weak or I don't know, it's okay. You know what I'm saying? There's probably like maybe five songs where I felt like, eh, eh. The first song, oh, and by the way, the whole DJ drama thing, it's pretty cool. I think it's pretty dope. I'm, For me, I like it because I kind of grew up on that era, like the mixtape era where all the DJs were screaming all over this shit. And then we really wanted the non-DJ version after we heard it a bunch of times. But yeah, it's cool. It's a cool touch to it. The first track is a cool, like, drum pattern going on and he's kind of like popping off his shit a little bit kind of rapping a bit it's cool it's a cool intro i think it's a dope intro uh the next song keep bouncing bounce 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 it's high it's cool i i definitely the theme of this entire album is probably what your casual cuddy fan wouldn't really expect or even a cuddy fan wouldn't expect honestly this whole project is turn up shit like 95 percent there's no sad shit. There's really no, you know, uh, deep thought provoking, like, I don't know, relatable shit in a way, to be honest. Like, there's really, this is honestly the happiest I've ever heard Cuddy on a project, period. I've never heard Cuddy this, you know, lit, turned up. He's definitely, he's probably at a point of his life where he's not really, he's not depressed no more. You know what I'm saying? He's happy. He's having fun with these tracks. Most of these tracks I could hear going crazy at a show. It does feel like a, a live performance kind of project. It's definitely not even close to anything as good as any of the Man on the Moon projects, but those projects are really hard to, to top. Enter Galactic was solid. That was more of like the original kind of, you know, the Cuddy that most people expect. This one is, this, this Cuddy's uh, definitely up-tempo. Definitely up tempo. Key bouncing's eye. It's cool. Get off me with Travis. Fire. This is definitely a highlight of the project. Travis bodies that shit. Dope chorus. Dope beat. Everything about this track is great. I feel like Cuddy and Trav, they don't really miss on it to me. They don't miss at all. Um, but yeah, solid Trav and Cuddy song. I could see that being played at a show. I could see Trav bringing them out, Cuddy bringing them out, all that jazz. Most ain't Dennis. Uh, this is a Benny X beat. Uh, when I heard that Benny X tag, I was like, oh shit. Oh shit. But uh, that beat is crazy though. Wow. wow. See, like that shit is just so wild to me. You don't like me? So why? Me? I think it's pretty cool. The, the verse is okay. Like the wordplay, kind of throughout this whole project, the lyricism is kind of, <laughs> it's a little weak, but like, Cuddy's not really known for crazy lyrics like that, but uh, some of it is a little like okay, run of the mill kind of bars, and the way he tries to make them rhyme with each other is a little, I don't know, uninteresting or weird. But that song is cool. I like the chorus a lot. The verses not too much. Wow, I heard this song from Rolling Loud, California, 2021, bro. I remember he played like two unreleased tracks, and Wow was one of them. Wow, wow, wow. At first, I was I remember downloading the snippet to him performing that. Like, I thought it was wild, W-I-L-D, but it's wild, dope track, fun track, and he put ASAP Rocky on there. 
fire. My man said, I got, what he said? I got lipsticks on, what he said? I got lipstick on my briefs. That was pretty funny. Shout out to Rocky. You need to drop already. You're getting me tight. I understand you about to have another kid with Rihanna. That's cute. That's cool. Congrats to you, but we don't give a fuck. We want music, fam. Where you at? Electro Wave Baby, to me, is a standout for sure. This beat, this beat. I think even Kanye uh, posted this song on his story. Funny thing is, it was actually on mute. Like, there was no volume. That was pretty funny. I don't know if you noticed that. But Electro Wave Baby, uh, Electro Wave Baby is very, like, it's a, it's a different style that we're, that we're used to. I like that. Oh, 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 it's a very, like, I don't know. It makes you want to, it's very groovy. It's very groovy. Uh, a Tale of a Night, I can see this. When it comes to Cuddy, his 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 definition of rage is definitely different than, <laughs> than what I'm used to, at least. Be like, y'all ready to rage? Yeah. Like, he just be like, yeah. And it's just like, it's really more of like a, it's more like a rave kind of rage. That's how he sees rage. Because trust me, I've been to a bunch of Cuddy shows and it's more like that doom, doom, doom kind of rage. It's not like, open that shit up. It's not that kind of rage. <laughs> But I say that to say a tale of a night was like, get him off, get him off, get him off. I could see this shit going crazy at a show. Cut Life to me is kind of like a worse version of a tale of a night. This is kind of the songs where I feel like I didn't really need to be there. It's I. Right. It's kind of similar sounding to a tale of a night. But uh, I don't know. Maybe I got to hear it more. Uh, Too Damn High. This is a trippy red ass beat if I've ever heard one. I swear. If it was Yachty and Trippy. This probably would have been my favorite song on the whole project. Yachty's vocals with that shit he be doing, fire. I think it's dope. The chorus is fire. This is definitely a laid back, just chill. It makes me want to smoke, and I don't even smoke, bro. But dope track, um, solid, not too long. It's, it's cool. I wish Trippy was on it. This is a like trip at night ass beat. Lil Keyed ass beat, actually. There's a song with Trippy Red and Lil Key. This kind of sounds like that. But yeah, Get You Gone, it's cool. I feel like the chorus is kind of awkward. Like there's no, like, I don't know what it is. I feel like maybe it's missing an ad lib here and there, but it's like, turn into my feet, turn into my feet. Like, eh, I, I don't know. It doesn't really hit for me. I'm not a fan of it like that. At the party is definitely a standout. I've been bumping this shit since it dropped, bro. We would just stare at the party. It's serious, not sorry. And then when Trav comes in, wow, I think it's fire. I've seen people say that Trav's verse is weak. Some people really love it. I think it's hard, bro. Cuddy, Pharrell, Trav, they they did their thing on this. I'd love to see this live. Fire. I think it needs a music video. I wonder what music videos we're gonna get, if any, from this project. Mr. Kula is cool. It's cool. It's a good song. It's a turn up track. I don't know, his flow, I don't know what it is about his voice, the way he makes his vocals sound. I don't know what they do to his voice, but it's this more raspy kind of cutty. I feel like the flow is kind of boring on this track. It's a little monotone, it's a little robotic a little bit. It don't really rock my socks like that. This this song is I. Right. Freshie's cool. Them fucks got them and them and them and them. It's cool. Eh. I'm not really like really going back to it like that though. Um, Tortured is to me like an old school Cuddy kind of sound. You got the hums, you got, it sounds like this is an older Cuddy, like Man on the Moon 3 kind of Cuddy. It's probably the first time on the whole project where it kind of feels like an older Cuddy song, like that kind of formula. Um, it's definitely not a turn up track like the rest, not really. This is the, this is kind of the Cuddy that I prefer to listen to. Like, don't get me wrong, this new Trap Cuddy is cool, um, but it's it feels kind of, not forced, but it's not really anything innovating or anything too interesting. I, I, I don't really go to Cuddy to listen to that kind of style of music. I prefer more, I don't know, like the cinematic, triumphant, anthemic kind of Cuddy where, you know, he's humming and shit like that. But besides that, Tortured is definitely a standout for me. I think it's fire. No, 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 I wish the devil would fuck off. Like, I don't know. I think that's the kind of Cuddy I prefer. X and Cud, I'm on the fence with this one, fam. It's literally a remix to the song Orlando off X's, you know, Revenge album. I don't hate it. You know, I, I, I appreciate, I'm assuming he really liked that song and just wanted to hop on the track. Um, it's cool. 
it's a good song. It's not it's not really that much different except some, you know, some cutty vocals, which is pretty good. They added a little bit of drums to it. It's, it's okay. It's good. I mean, I already liked the song Orlando. So, you know, to have Cuddy on it now, I guess that's cool. Uh, Funky Wizard Smoke. This is fire. This is fire. This I like a lot. This reminds me of kind of like a, I don't know, a 3-6 Mafia kind of style song. Again, this is a song that makes me kind of want to smoke. Like, this shit is just some laid back, riding around in a whip, summer days, and just chill with the homies. This is a fire track. This is a fun it's a fun track. If you got some to the smoke, it's definitely. I feel like Wiz. I feel like Wiz Khalifa could have been on this track. It's definitely a dope ass, like, laid back song. Rager Boys with Young Thug. This is fire. I like this song a lot. This beat kind of reminds me of a song off Intergal Intergalactic. Um, it was called, I think, In Love. Was it In Love? It's there's a song that kind of sounds similar, like beat wise. But uh, yeah, man, it's a dope, very chill kind of production i really enjoy this kind of cutty and young thug just compliments that very well and hitting thug's verse is pretty hard too Porsche topless <laughs> when i first heard this song i think it came out like last year during the summer i heard the benny x and i was like all right and then i ain't gonna lie i didn't hear it again after like one time i'm like this is whack <laughs> what am i listening to but now that i heard it on this whole project it, it fits the whole theme, you know, the whole fun, up-tempo, pull up in that, push up topless, this shit hard, this shit hard, this shit grown on me a lot, I'm not gonna lie, this is, this is probably one of my favorite songs on here, call me crazy, but it's a fun track, I think it's fun, Blue Sky, when I talk about Cuddy being like on his anthemic or cinematic or, you know, very triumphant kind of shit, this is a huge standout. Blue Sky, man, if this whole project kind of sounded like Blue Sky, we could have had like an instant classic, fam, because this is an amazing track. It's very well thought out, not saying the rest isn't, but the song structure, just on point, man. The melody is amazing, the vocals, the bridge, the chorus, everything about this song, great. But then we get hit the streets in my Nikes. Shit gas. <laughs> That's a fire track, bro. I ain't gonna lie. So uh, enough with the review, I guess. Let's get to the actual vinyl. I know a lot of you guys came for that. But uh, yeah, got my mans out here. My boy hitting the gym. My boy shredded. Let's take a look at this Target exclusive. Insano, Insano boy. And that's another thing too, that song is not on here, the I, I'll Kill what, what Bleeds or whatever the hell. How's that not on here? He did tweet that he's supposed to be dropping a deluxe to this like next week. <sighs> you know how I feel about that fam. Bruh, can we at least enjoy our meal first? 21 tracks. Like, are you really gonna give us another 20? Cause he did say that this project was supposed to have like 40 songs. So when I saw it was only 21, I'm like, oh, maybe he changed his mind. But no, well, apparently we're getting a whole nother project on Friday. We'll see. Cause there's certain songs that's not on here. I feel like should have been or whatever. That, in, that I'll Kill What I Bleed shit. There's a song called Superboy. Superboy, Superboy. Like, well, yo, that shit needs to be on here, bruh. I need that song. If he does drop a whole nother project, man, he said, don't treat it like a deluxe, treat it like a whole nother, you know, album. Bro, give it some time, man. Here you go. Say no, Target. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of like a, yeah, it's red. I thought it's like a, it's more like a, like a hot pink. It's hard to tell, but. Insane, oh boy. Okay. Same shit. But yeah, man, Cuddy, overall, Insano, fun project. Um, it's good. It's good. It's just not great. Some tracks just aren't really memorable. Um, but it's fun. It's fun. It's definitely, he proved to y'all that, you know, I think he still got it, man. Shout out to Kid Cuddy, man. This is a dope album cover. 
if you like this video hit the like button subscribe subscribe to your boy and i'll check you guys in the next video peace